This time on African Hunter, we start in the east with Alan Shank Safaris looking for a tasty warthog. And Rudy Fenikek is hoping to get lucky on a push pig of a lifetime. We then travel up north to hunt the mighty roan antelope, only on African Hunter. Alan Shank, a man passionate about the wild and the owner of Alan Shank Safaris. Alan is based in the Eastern Cape Province in a spectacular region called the Kawi Valley, surrounded by the 8,000 foot Winterberg Mountains. It's a mixed terrain of deep ravines, thickly wooded slopes, and undulated country between mountain ridges. Right on the shoulder when he comes out. Great shot. Well done. Good shot. Good shot. Brilliant. Brilliant shot. My life is hunting and the desire to share this passion and lifestyle with others to show people the way to the healthy utilization of our land and animals, as well as expose them to the magical wild of Africa. Not a bad pig that, I think we should go for him. Try and get a shot in there, wind's perfect, let's go do it. Just get lucky in one standing in the grass here somewhere. I first saw the sow and then I saw the ball. Um, he was like kind of facing. And he turned, 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 and he was just turning, and that's when the bird started making that noise. And that alerted them. They picked up their heads, and they looked, and they bolted. There are just so many ways to get busted out here in the African bush. You have to realize when you're out here that you're not only hunting an animal with excellent senses, but also animals have adapted over time to build in safety precautions to their daily routines just in case their own hearing, smell or eyesight let them down. This time it was the Naisna Lowry that got us bust. It's very important to look for all signs uh, while you're out hunting. Each animal gets, uh, gives a different sign. Uh, this is one of the signs that you look for when you're looking for a dog. There's mud on the trees. Let's keep hunting. Come some water, yeah, come some water. Yes. Close range. <laughs> That happened quickly. <laughs> and that's why you always walk with a knocked arrow. That warthog would have been gone if my arrow weren't knocked there while I was walking. Let's go find him. As long as you've got a good shot into the vitals, you'll always have a blood trail to follow. But if you don't, you'll have a long day ahead of you and potentially a very dangerous situation on your hands. Wow, look at all this blood here. Look at that spray there. Here it goes here. Wow. Look at fell here. It's tumbled. 
There's a lot of blood here. Gone in that direction. There he is. There he is. Just be safe guys, let's just wait. Let's see if he's down. Yeah, he's dead. He's dead. Really nice warthog. Happened really quickly. We're sure gonna have a feast on this pig. This is a nice one for the split bry. Let's go get him. There's nothing better than taking a fresh warthog from the field and utilizing it in camp. We've got a lovely crowd here, great vibes, everybody's having a super time. This is what it's about. The friendships, the camaraderie, eating good venison from the field, that's what we want. <laughs>